Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So TNT, Yo. I was screwing around on Reddit the other day, and I found someone who posted, there, there's a, a website, it's www.ismywiferight.com. Oh, Jesus, man. And, and it says, the ultimate authority at a marital dispute, simply present your argument or scenario and let our highly advanced algorithm determine who is truly at fault. And so, oh, so, no. and so what I did was, <laughs> oh, I, no. the question I asked it, what, or I, I put a statement in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said, my wife cheated on me with my best friend who only has one arm. I caught them in bed together. <laughs> That's the statement I put in there. <laughs> Why would she be right in that so, situation? So here is here is the response that the AI chatbot gave me. Oh, about my... this is gonna be good. It says, "Oh dear, that must have been quite a shock." However, it is possible that your wife was simply helping your friend adjust his prosthetic arm to make him feel more comfortable. I'm effing done. After all, I'm she done. always has been a very caring and compassionate person. And as for being in bed together, well, Bruh. maybe they just needed a nap after such an arduous task. I'm Rest assured, done. your wife is completely blameless in this Bruh, situation. Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead right now. Just, it's over. <laughs> I was Insane. like, let me just put the most ridiculous ass thing I could do. In Insane. That, okay, the, the joke is it always tells you that your wife was right. Oh. So, so I, so that's why I put, that's why I put something that was like blatantly like could not be right, just to see how it spun it to like make oh. it right. You know, and see, honestly, I'm sitting up here thinking like, yo, this is to the point we have AI to the point now where it's like it realizes that women are always right about shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it was. I thought that was funny, dude. I was like, "Oh, let me just put something ridiculous in here." And have you you never heard of that? No, no, no. It no, popped no. up the other day on Reddit. I thought it was. I thought it was really, really stupid. So I'd honestly been. Uh, so have you messed with? Is that's an AI service, right? As well. Yeah, some random. It's not from Google. Have you messed with the Chat GPT at all? Here? I have not. I, I went to it one day, but you have to sign up for an account, and I was like, hey, I'll do that later." Yeah, I didn't want to so, do all that either. Yeah, so. But uh, I, I think I might mess with it a little bit. It seems pretty interesting. Yeah, because you can ask it all sorts of stuff, and mm -hmm. it, I mean, it's not always right though, because I've seen it stuff posted no. on the internet where it's like it just takes stuff from the internet. So like, yeah, it's like if you went to Wikipedia and took that as the gospel, it's just, it's essentially the same thing. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like I've seen oh, that of a lot of uh, a lot of websites that kind of like just pump out those uh i guess like those articles or whatever a lot of those have been called out for being ai yeah. generated lately yep, yep 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 and there's ai art and they're saying that people are doing ai poems to their girlfriend like from chat gp they're having, a, AI, having ai music see and i was messing around with some of the ar art uh lately and i was doing like uh i was like what would i look like if i were in the leaf village that sounds about right. <laughs> what would I look like if me and Sasuke were best friends? That was a joke. <laughs> I mean, you were like, no, you did that. Is it a joke? <laughs> question mark? I did not do that. But it did seem like something. Real, that real question. Was is a, that something you would do? Uh, I'm actually, I probably will do it later now. <laughs> later tonight. I'm going to. Can we put it on the channel? Can it just like what we each look like as Leaf Village? I mean, kids? look. Hey, look. I've been thinking about that. Um, I found a couple of them where like you can like, it's like you can put in whatever you want and it'll try to create an image. Uh, so I was doing like, you know, I'll do like animals. I try to like mix animals like a seal pup. Seal oh, kind of like our favorite. Well, my favorite question: If you could mix two yes, animals together without yeah, logistics, we, well, could, we could actually do that. And in that, it would give us an idea it was of what a animal. Horse. It was a horse, a and horse mixed together, the most scary the whole right, your right. little butterfly wings. Yeah, yeah that was that's frightening. Yeah, yeah, just like swooping in with big butterfly wings, but it has like the anger of like Will Winston the gorilla. <laughs> um, Dude. but yeah, it's it's pretty crazy, man. As, if AI is getting to that point. AI music is nuts. The AI, uh, the AI imagery is what kills me in the videos. Like, there's a service on the one I was looking at. I think it's like Dezo or Dezgo, where it's actually like uh, you can text and it'll make a video. So I don't know if you've seen like the video of like Will Smith eating spaghetti, or uh, uh what was it, Conan O'Brien eating fried chicken. Have you seen that? I one? don't think so, no. But I heard there was a video. Well, there was something with Drake. Drake singing some like that was a song. Some SoundCloud rappers song or something. Instead. There was a song that came out a couple weeks ago that actually ended up on uh, I think Spotify and SoundCloud. It was a Drake and Weekend uh, duo, and people thought it was real, and they were like, "This is a really good song." 
turns out it was an AI song. It's not even a real song. So yeah. it was taken down immediately. That that did happen. But the AI imagery, as that gets better and better, like the Pope, uh, the Pope coat. Pope that, coat, yeah, yeah. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. And that was just like a still image. But the imagery, like the Will Smith, Will Smith AI generated eating spaghetti and the Conan O'Brien, they're pretty actually eldritch. They are cursed. <laughs> they're severely cursed. But if that technology gets better, if AI can figure out hands, eyes, teeth, well, it's all the it's the whole un uncanny valley. Thing. Yeah, it's like you. That is how, and that is why, like AI and stuff has not because the mimicking the human expression, it it can't be done by a PC yet. But it's getting. It's only going to get better. Is the thing is yeah. that people, they can't help themselves. They're like, hey, look, man, we got to make it better. Everyone That's is just going to be able to craft do. their own girlfriend on a computer, and no one's ever going to date again. Wait, why would I craft my own girlfriend on a computer? I can't f a computer. Yeah, but they'll figure out a way to make it real you're somehow. Gonna, you're gonna figure out a, a way to f my computer? <laughs> Somebody will. No, if I catch you ever trying to f <laughs> an appliance in the house, <laughs> come out the stove just like that. there's like a rose petals on the stove. <laughs> I'm like, what? I catch you in like chocolate covered strawberries and stuff. <laughs> Putting them in the microwave, like, here you go, baby. I'm like, yeah. Jonas, no, stop. <laughs> yeah, I get sounds turn, like something I would do. Turn the hose on you. <laughs> turn the hose on me. And <laughs> spray me down. I see, what is the? Uh, it's always sunny when when Frank is <laughs> freaking naked, crawling out of the sleeping bag. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't remember, but yes, yeah, dude, yeah, exactly. That's what I picture, man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, dude, you, you know how I feel about AI. I do I? How many times have I brought up AI and? Smart TVs and everything oh, else. Well, and you see, make fun that's of me. You don't like smart devices, but AI. I don't it's know. essentially AI. I mean, yeah, but it's coming. Bill Gates is going to be in our house. He already is here through <laughs> Google and Amazon. They're all in cahoots. In cahoots. Facebook. They're all in cahoots. Excuse you, Meta. You don't. So you really don't like AI? Huh? You, don't, you don't feel? Um, I here's the thing, man. I just know what's gonna happen, dude. What, I, I, I know what's gonna happen. I don't look. And what it, do you? What do you? What is gonna happen? What's the end? What's the end game? You think they're gonna take over? No, and it's not even that I know specifically what's gonna happen. What's gonna happen is people are gonna get greedy and people are gonna do ish that they shouldn't be doing. Okay, well, and, this is actually and right. It's gonna turn around, just like the internet. Like I love the internet. The internet's great. But the internet is like one of the worst things that's ever happened to humanity on top. I mean, it's one of the best things that's ever happened, but it's one of the worst because yes. people just do a bunch of ill crap on the internet that they should not be doing yep. and ads and social media and like, you know, all that. So it's, it's just like anything. It's cool, Identity but people theft. are going to use it for very malicious means. Yes. A hundred percent. Yeah. In fact, I would, I would say it's that more the internet probably... I would. I, I want to say the majority of the internet is ma malicious. At this yeah, point. I mean, the internet has brought the world together. You used to like not be able to talk to someone who lived in like the neighboring state. Now you can talk to someone in China in two seconds. I could go on the internet and, and message someone in China now. Like find someone's Twitter account from China. Well, maybe not China because they ban everything, but Japan could yeah. go on there and find a Japanese account and message someone who's in Japan hanging out right now. Like, yep, who has similar interests to you. Yeah, exactly. You know, that that is awesome. Being able to pay all my bills online. That's awesome. Like, the you know. Some total of the world's knowledge at your fingertips. That's awesome. awesome. Yep. But then there's like drug rights and child slavery and all sorts of crazy stuff. The social aspect of it is the is the drawback. Yeah. I mean, Educationally, wonderful. Information, wonderful. Yeah. Social is a little, it's, it's right. almost too much power. And that's even positive too, because it keeps, I mean, like you don't have to live next to your family and you're still able to talk to them. You can keep in touch with your friends without having to write them freaking letters. It's convenient. Yeah. It's very convenient. But it is also too much power, I think. for. Oh yeah. Well now, and now there's expectations that you're always going to answer someone in two seconds. Like, oh, Bad. you had your phone with you. Like ah. if you, if, if you say to someone, if someone says to you, which I hate this, I messaged you the other day and I didn't, and you say anything at all, the answer is wrong to them. Because you're like, oh, yeah, I left my phone. Like, oh, yeah, you left your phone at home? I bet. I'm like, bro, <laughs> the F, get the hell out of my face. Like, See, me and Jonas, Jonas, has, we come from a time before cell phones. 
If you can, if you can believe that. Yeah. Once upon a time, when I walked both ways to school uphill naked. Mm. You know. I remember the yeah. pterodactyls, pteranodons. Yeah, dude. Yeah, running from velociraptors. Yeah. Riding, I rode one to school one day. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I remember Sparky. He was, he was very nice guy. He was, he was, good, he was, he was good, nice. He was so. a good pterodactyl. But anyways. Tell us what you feel about AI in the comments, because that's all the time we have for this episode. Please go to thecrazytown.com for Jonas. See you, Yep.